Hey YouTube, Shaman Hawk here for Shamanic Lodge. Right now I'm in the Cluj Napoca area, Transylvania, Romania. And just thought I'd show you a little bit about my office here. This is where uh, Orshi and I work from. When we say we're back in the office, kind of a place that we visit in between appointments. Uh, we try and come out here as often as possible, uh, even if it's only for a couple hours at a time. Because this is where the real shamanism starts to happen. This is where we get our messages, designs for uh, classes and lectures and therapies. It all comes from nature. As we see here, or she's working a little bit on her tools and things that she uses for different types of therapies. If you really like this office, you don't have to decorate it. It decorates itself every couple months. Uh, around the fall, very pretty colors. Lots of hazelnut for working with uh, for wands, spoons, other things. Uh, she's uh, getting ready for some sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> Not just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, but now we just, carving is one of our favorite meditations, and we uh, make some tools and different things for different people for many different reasons. I'm going to let her tell you a little bit about what she's doing here with her magic trees and, and things. Yeah, I just uh, uh, discovered, we discovered this, uh, this place uh, last year and uh, we are, uh, we love to come back here and do our um, um, meditation exercises and uh, all kind of practices. Yesterday we came back and my first thing was uh, to offer something first to nature. You cannot see but underground is uh, lots and lots of stones, seashells, seeds. Maybe a little bit I can I can show you. Um, bones, different kind of things. Uh, yeah, crystals uh, with the intention that uh, we appreciate everything we get in our life and uh, the prosperity, the, the traveling, the, um, all the good things what is uh, happening in our life. And then, uh, yeah, I just started to, um, to do my magic um, here, to draw symbols. Then yesterday I made a, a new uh, dream catcher. I didn't make uh, dream catchers for two years and yesterday I made one what represents the balance um, with a pointed crystal and uh, maybe you could see on, uh, on Facebook or on Instagram. I don't know where I posted that. And today I just felt to just um, hang my jewelries here in between trees with the intention to get the energy of this place and to bring them back at home and in Germany and to let people wear it and to feel it how is here, how is in in Romanian Transylvanian forest. And then I just uh, I will just uh, try to not try but to draw some symbols, uh, new symbols on stones and maybe we'll have some I will have some carving time also. So this is how we we spend our office time here today. <laughs> and this is where we uh, let me get a good picture of this. That right there is where we cook and have coffee, our special coffee, cocoa, marshmallow mix. This is very important because this is where we have our staff meetings. Okay, staff meetings are very important. <laughs> uh, she chose this area here. You see, it's four trees coming together out of one area. You know, we look for special places like that, and the energy feels really good. Um, we started coming to this place last year. Um, so that's a little bit of an update uh, for... Uh, office time <laughs> by the way I wanted to also point out uh, we do the clearing works or the uh, the sessions you know for a couple hours 
People want to know exactly what happens in those sessions. Well, the truth is, we don't know. A lot of that depends on you and what you're going through. Uh, but basically, it's a very important time because we get to listen to your story, the things going on in your life, and we design an activity, a ceremony, or a treatment that's especially for you. All right? We can't really have one uh, method that works from everybody because everybody is unique and has their own things going on. But the other part about that is when uh, I'm in Germany especially, uh, Orsi gets to watch uh, what I do. So she's with me every day, appointment by appointment, reading by reading, therapy by therapy. And that's why it's so important in apprenticeships, that in shamanism, that you do serve an apprenticeship. And it is daily input every day because she's seen so much just in two years every day is like something new it's a bit of a surprise and sometimes she gets to see me surprised and after all this time i'm happy to say that can still happen so when someone just proclaims that oh i just said decide to call myself a shaman one day it's kind of like really that's like me you know wanting to call myself a brain surgeon it just doesn't work <laughs> okay um but the other part is like and now you know it's really proud moment for me to see when she gives analysis and recommendations for people uh, it really works you know one example she uh, recommended to a woman to come out who was having some difficulties with her cycle and, and things but stress can do that for a woman she told her to come on out and uh, just sit in nature uh, the cycle was just seven days late but when she came out and sat down it started to flow these are the simple realistic practical moments when shamanism and nature all come together through a woman's empathy, uh, empathic skills, uh, and wisdom. So feel free to give us some, uh, set up an appointment. We'll be in Romania for another three weeks and then we go back to Germany for another month. Until then, I want to thank everybody. Catch you all later.